Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Apex Legends. And in this video, we're focusing on the season 13 patch notes and the gameplay in the background, just a solo diamond rank game I had, but the main focus is on the patch notes. So let's go ahead and jump right into them. But before we do, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new here, or if you find this content helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it helps me out a ton. And I'm only going to be covering the major updates, but if you'd like to read the full patch notes, it's the first link at the top of the description. So first up, we have the new legend, Newcastle, or AKA, a better lifeline. It is passive that he can move down teammates to cover while we're reviving them at the same time. Along with being able to move them, he, uh, he also gets a shield like lifeline used to have, so you're protected while you're moving and reviving your down teammate. And his tactical is a mobile shield, and it says, throw a controllable drone that creates a moving energy shield. So I'm curious to see how that works. And finally, his ult is called Castle Wall, where you essentially make a massive rampart shield that can provide instant cover and protection from enemies. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of curious to see how he's going to play. He's definitely going to put Lifeline out of, out of a job. Like, there's there's no point in picking Lifeline when Newcastle exists. But I'm curious to see how he's going to fit into the meta. And next up, moving right along, we have a new update to Stormpoint in the form of a new POI. This POI is called Down Beast. It would be a higher tier loot area just down the hill from the mill, which is one of my favorite places to land. And along with this addition, they also added several armories around the map. And armories are similar to Bloodhound Trials that you'll have to kill AI. I think it's robots in this case. But unlike Trials, when you enter, the doors are supposed to shut behind you so you can't be third party while you're fighting the robots. And also, some more good news, Kings Canyon is out of the map rotation this entire season. So you're only going to play on Storm Point, World's Edge, and Olympus, with the first ranked map being Storm Point. And honestly, I'm looking forward to these new changes, but above all else, I'm looking forward to no more Kings Canyon. I love World's Edge, Olympus is fun, Storm Point's okay, especially when ranked it plays pretty well, but I'm just, I'm headed up to here with the Kings Canyon, so I'm just glad to see that gone. And speaking of ranked, this season brings a brand new ranked scoring system called Ranked Reloaded. And the basic gist is that this gameplay in ranked will be more focused on team fighting and staying alive with the team to the end. Again, this is a short explanation of it. If you want the full details, make sure you check the description. It's the top link right there. They go give a better, uh, a much better, more in-depth discussion than what I'm doing right here. I'm just covering the highlights. And as far as my thoughts on it go, I'm excited to see these changes. I've been asking and hoping and praying for rank changes for the last five or six uh, seasons. I'm glad to see them finally taking some steps in the right direction. So we'll see how it plays out. And along with this new season, we're seeing some weapon changes. First up, the Flatline and Longbow are no longer in the Crafter. They have been replaced by the R301 and the Rampage. And also the Spitfire is out of the care package and it's been replaced by the Mastiff. So if you're like me and you're used to running the R301 and Mastiff, uh, we're going to have to craft one and find a care pack, I guess. Uh, next up, let's go into the buffs and nerfs. And we're going to start off with the nerfs. And first up, the fortified perk that Gibby and Caustic have no longer reduces uh, headshot damage. And let's see, what else? Oh, they nerfed the headshot multiplier of the Kraber down from 3.0 to 2.0. They also reduced the damage of the Kraber down from 145 to 140. I'm assuming that's body shots. It doesn't really say on their website. And the next gun up on the nerfing block was the Rampage. And they increased the reload time and lowered the handling time of it. Up next, we have the L-Star. And the headshot multipliers is down from 1.75 to 1.5. They also reduced the headshot distance from 64 meters down to 57 meters. Also, the overheat cool off time, it was 2.5 seconds, it's now 3.6 seconds. So that's a pretty significant nerf to the L-Star, which honestly, I don't think it needed it. I know you don't really see that many people running the L-Star anymore. But up next is a gun, especially if you play on PC, that you do see a lot of people running, and that's the Devotion. And it receives several nerfs, starting with the damage reduced from 15 uh, down from 16. The headshot multiplier is also brought down to 1.5. Then its reload time was increased along with its draw time, raise time, holster time, and lower time. So some pretty significant changes to the Devo. And let's just hope it's enough. Like I said, if you're on console, you don't really see it that much. I've recently made the swap over to PC and you see people with turbo Devos all the time and they are an absolute problem to run into. And the next weapon up is the Spitfire. And since the Spitfire is out of the care pack, EA gave it a few nerfs to its damage, mag size, reload time, and very similar times to the draw raise, lower, and holster time of the Devo. So we'll see if that be enough to keep it in line with the other guns and not have it busted like it was a few seasons ago, the season right before they put it in the care pack, if y'all can remember that one. 
and remember how just about every squad had somebody, at least one person, usually two or three, all running Spitfires, and it was just a nightmare to play against. All right, that's about it for all the major nerfs. Now let's talk about some buffs. There wasn't many of them, but uh, first up, we got blue and purple helmets. Now protect your head a bit better. And the Havoc has improved recoil at the start of the spray. And also the Mozambique and PK both do a bit more damage to limbs. And, I mean, that's about it in the way of major buffs. You sum it up in a few seconds. They didn't really do a lot of buffing, mostly nerfing. And some other items to note are the dual shell has been removed from floor loot and the spawn rate of cells and syringes has been lowered by 18%. And I'm not, I'm not entirely sure why any of that needed to take place. Well, I guess the Mastiff dual shell, Mastiff going into crafter, but I don't understand the cells and syringes. But anyway, that's about it for all the major things in this update. There's some other changes to arenas and some out of bounds stuff fixed, some other quality of life updates for some legends, but as far as the high points of the update, that's about it. A full list of the patch notes is below, so make sure you check those out because I just skimmed over and read through and told you about all the, the major stuff. And if you're a arenas player, I kind of left you out, but I don't really play arenas, so I don't really cover it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you out the rest of the gameplay. And make sure you check the second link. It's going to be my Twitch channel down in the description. Uh, this, I will be live streaming this be later in the day, but I would definitely, definitely be checking out Season 13. And I hope you all enjoy it. Peace out. Thank you all so much for watching. Recharging my shields. Frag out. No one hides from my drill. Frag out. Fashion reloading. We're kind of vibing like right here. How's that team on my right now shooting at me? Got an enemy right here. If fellas know the drill. One minute before the ring closes. We have time. There's guys and two of them are up there. I don't like my shotgun. Dragon from the rings just ahead. 
Giving my shield. How can he hit me? Yo, good shit. 